Hello, my name is Sharon McDougal, and today I'm volunteering with the Boys and Girls Club. I want to tell you about the suit that all astronauts wore when they flew aboard the space shuttle. It's the Advanced Crew Escape Suit, which is worn on launch and re-entry. Okay, so I'm going to start off with telling you how they got suited up. The crew members would come into the room. They'd have on their underwear, their long johns. But one more thing they had on besides their long johns was their diaper. Yes, the astronauts wore diapers. I'm sure some of you probably knew that, but this is what they had to wear under their underwear because they had to lie on their back such a long time before they took off. And they couldn't get up and go to the restroom, so the diaper was the restroom until they got to space. Next, they would come in, they would sit down. They'd have on their socks, of course, and their long downs, like I mentioned. Sit down in the lazy boy chair. The suit would be lying on the floor and they would put one foot at a time and then they would put their arms in and then they would pop their head through the next cell. After that, they would stand up, stretch out. We'd go in and we'd check and make sure everything is nice and smooth inside before we zip them up. The zipper went all the way from the back of their neck all the way to the front of their, in, in their crotch area and then you have to snap it. After that, they would sit down and we'd immediately put their boots on and then they have a communications cap that would go on. And this had their microphones and their earphones, which was hooked to their helmet, which is the next thing they would put on, as you can see. They would put on their helmet then, right? And hook up the helmet and the communications cap. And the last thing they would put on would be their gloves. And they had a ball bearing ring, so you would connect it to the suit, twist it, and lock it. And after everything's all suited up, all, all the gears on, we would test them to make sure they were receiving oxygen through their helmet, they could breathe properly, and that the suit would pressurize if needed in case of an emergency aboard the space shuttle. So we test them, the suit would inflate, it would pressurize, and then it looked like a little orange balloon sitting there. And we would do a few tests, flip a few switches, as I'm doing right here, and then we make sure everything's okay. And then we depressurize them. After depressurized, we unhook the helmet and the communications cap, and we put it in a nice little bag, kind of like a bowling ball bag, and it would get put into the Astro van for their ride out to the space shuttle. But while they're waiting, so when they walk out, they walk out and waving to everybody. If you ever seen the astronauts when they come out of the building, waving with the orange suits on, they just left the room where we were, and they get into the Astro van and they ride out to the space shuttle. And some of my team members would strap them into the shuttle, and they'd wait. So, like I said, they wore a diaper because they have to be in the suit like almost four hours before they actually launch. And they, once they're strapped in, they can't get up and go. They have to use the diaper. And then they launch, and they have to, uh, it takes about eight minutes to get into space. And then they take all this equipment off, and they put it in, they store it until it's time to come home. But while they're up there, of course, they have to eat. So I have a few samples of some food. Here's some uh, macaroni and cheese. See that? And here's some Mexican scrambled eggs. I know it doesn't look too appetizing, but I guess once you're up there for a while, everything tastes pretty good. A couple other fun facts about that is they couldn't take regular salt and pepper, the granular type. They had to take liquefied salt and pepper. They couldn't take bread and all these things make crumbs, you know, that would get into their instruments and things. So they had to liquefy the salt and pepper. And they also used tortillas instead of bread for any kind of sandwiches or things they wanted to make. Just a few little fun facts. Their drink bags, this is how they drink. This is all of the bags, this is how all of the drinks came. This is a tropical punch. We have just some regular drinking water here, some orange juice, and some coffee. So they stay up there and do their experiments and exploring and spacewalking and everything. When it's time to come home, they put our pretty orange suit back on and we're waiting for them when they land and we go and recover the crew and take the suits off of them and get ready to do it again. So I hope you enjoyed this little short information, informational uh, talk about the advanced crew escape suit that was worn aboard the space shuttle by all astronauts, no matter where they came from. And that's my little spiel. I'm Sharon McDougall. Y'all have a great evening. Bye.